Okay. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, good night. So, hello. How are you tonight, guys? Hello. Hello. Hi, Nemi. How are Hi. you? Hi, I'm really good. Thank you. How about you, Nemi? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Good, thank you. Very nice. So hello as well, Dina, Ambar, Anna, Esther, Omar, Ever. Welcome. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. So welcome, welcome. So well, guys, you know today is Thursday, right? So well, you know, let's just start with today, right? With the class. So, well, yesterday we were, you know, talking about adverse of frequency, right? And how to create questions with how, right? Like how often, how long, um, how, well. how well, how good, right? So, guys, um, did everybody finish the exercise of the platform? Yes. Do we all finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, well, very nice. So, guys, tonight we are going you know, to start with you know, unit number two. So, we are going to discuss about past, okay? So, now, you know, let me first, you know, to start the class, let me, you know, share you, you know, something that I have here for you. I have some questions for you guys, okay? So, we can, you know, improve our vocabulary, okay? And, of course, improve our speaking skills, right? So I have these questions for you tonight, okay, guys, you see? This one, guys, are, you know, impressive, right? So we are going to discuss these questions. I'm going to send you these questions to the WhatsApp group, okay? So also, you can, you know, take a screenshot or a photo if you want, but I'm going to send to you. And we are going to practice this question in groups, okay? So I'm going to divide you, you know, in some breakout rooms so you can practice, okay, with your classmates. So let me create these groups. So perfect. So guys, um, let me, you know, open this room. And if you can accept the invitation, please. The photo is in the WhatsApp group. Let's practice this, okay? Let's practice, guys. Let's speak with this one, please. Come on. Okay, perfect. So if you can accept the invitation, please, guys. Okay, very nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, hello, I didn't. Hello, I didn't. So we are working in groups, uh, either answering these questions. So let me assign you to a group, okay? So just accept the invitation, okay. please. Okay. Okay, so hello, Eduardo. Hello. So uh, we are working in groups, uh, Eduardo, answering this question. Let me assign you to a group, okay? Okay, let me. Guys, hello, welcome. Um, we are working in these questions, okay? So if you can accept the invitation, I'm going to assign you, okay? Let me see. Claudia, let me assign you to a group. Marvin. Uh, Sandra, I'm going to send you to a group, okay? So we are going to answer these questions, okay, guys? 
Just accept the invitation, please. Uh, okay. Sandra, si puedes aceptar la invitación, please. Hello, Roxana. Hello. Hello, Roxana. Um, we are working, Roxana, in these questions. So let me assign you to a group, okay, everybody? You know, they are discussing this question, okay? So please accept the invitation. Thank you. Tonacatepeque. Tonacatepeque. Yes. Uh, what about you, Dina? I live in, well, in San Salvador. Hello, girl. Hello. Uh, we are working in breakout rooms, okay? Um, let me assign you, you know, to a group, okay? So let me see if you can accept the invitation, please, girls. Uh, we are working in groups, please. If you can accept the invitation. Si pueden aceptar la invitación para trabajar en grupos, please. Hello, hello, Alvarado. Um, we are working in these questions in groups. So let me assign you to a group so you can practice, okay? You can accept the invitation, please. Good evening, okay. Okay, perfect, thank you. Hello, Brenda. Um, we are, you know, making, you know, discussing these questions in groups. So let me assign you to a group so you can practice, okay? Let me see. You can accept the invitation, please.
Hello, Jennifer. Hello. So, Jennifer, we are working in groups, okay? We are discussing some questions, uh, but I'm going to bring everybody here uh, now because time is over, so you can stay here, do not worry. I'm going, you know, to close all the rooms, so they are going to come, okay? So, let's see. Okay. I'm going to close all the rooms now. Okay, welcome. Welcome back, guys. Welcome. Well, um, well, guys, you know, you were like three in groups, then you know it was increasing, right? There were more more people in your groups, right? So yeah, it's because you know new were joining and the breaking rooms were already set, right? So, but then don't worry, because we are going, you know, to practice here that we have, right? So let's see, I'm going to ask some of you. Well, this one. You know, it's a very easy question, right? So what's your name? It's something that you know. So let's move on. Let's see to this one. Uh, let me ask you, let's see who do I have here? Uh, Lorena, Lorena Martinez, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Lorena, let me ask you the, this question. What do you do? Well, in Spanish, this question is like, como a que te dedicas? Uh, I work in cobros. Oh, in charges, you can say. Charges. Charges. Okay. okay, perfect. Thank you, Lorena. Now, let's see. Where are you studying? Let me ask uh, Jennifer Torres. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Jennifer, can you tell me what are you studying? Yes. Que estoy estudiando, sería. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I am studying English. Okay, perfect, very nice. And besides English, are you studying anything else, Jennifer? Apart of English, algo más que estudias? No, ya terminé, finished. Okay, perfect, very finished nice. University. Good. Now let's see this one. Where do you live? Let's see Sandra Cruz. Hello. Hello, Sandra. Um, Sandra, we cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. Hello? Sandra? No, I don't know. I guess there is, you know, Sandra, something with the microphone. So uh, if you can check it. So do not worry, it's okay. So then let's see, um, Ambar Barahona. Hello, Ambar. Hello, teacher. Hello, uh, Ambar. Let me ask you know, uh, this question. What time is it? Eight, eight to fifteen. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. I'm going to choose someone else. Let's see. Uh, randomly. Let me ask uh, Margarita Medina. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, Margarita. Let me ask you this question. How are you? How are you? Yeah, let me ask you. How uh, are you? Hmm? Fine, fine. Thank you. Hey, very nice. So for this one, guys, we have, you know, many possible answers, right? So I am good, I am fine, I am excellent, everything is good, okay. so far okay. so good. Yeah, perfect. But thank you, Margarita, oh, yeah. thank you. 
Now let's see. Thank you. Now let's see this one. This one, you know, is very important for today's class. So let me ask, let's see, Eduardo Romero. Hello, Eduardo. Hi, teacher. Hi, Eduardo. Let me ask you this. How was your day? Um, my day was uh, tired and busy. And busy, okay. Um, <laughs> Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's it. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So we're going to stop here with the questions. So do not worry, guys. During all this period, you know, I'm going to, you know, select people from this, okay, from all the class people that, you know, that they don't use to participate because everybody is going to participate in this class, okay? So now, guys, let me, you know, move on because I have here something new for you. So, guys, I have this reading that is, you know, the introduction for the new topic for tonight because tonight we are going to talk about uh, a very important topic, okay? Because this is, I mean, something like the simple present, okay? So, guys, please, for this topic, Pay attention, okay? Pay attention because it's very important. So right now, guys, I have, you know, this conversation. So it say, do you do anything special, okay? Did you, okay? Did you, that you know, this is a question in past, right? Remember that we use the auxiliary did when we are making a question in past. So guys, here we have this conversation. Of course, we are going to practice it. But first, let me read it for you, okay? So you can get the pronunciation. So we have Rick and Meg. So what did you do last week and Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang, okay? With some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to the new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. So guys, perfect. So here, guys, we are going to do something special, okay? Something different with this reading that we have here. First, we are going to practice it, okay? Like speaking, okay? Practice like speaking. But besides that, with your partner, you are going, you know, to look all the words, all the verbs that are in past, okay? All the verbs that are in past, okay? I'm going to send you this picture. You can also take a screenshot or a photo if you want. We're going to send you to the WhatsApp group, okay? So, guys, uh, lo que vamos a hacer, primero vamos a practicar, right, speaking. Luego, con su compañero, van a buscar todos los verbos que estén en pasado, okay? En pasado. Y los van a anotar, okay? So, now, guys, I'm going to divide you in groups, okay? So, let's see. Well, we are many today. So, welcome for the ones that are here for first time. Welcome. So let's see, guys. Let's see how many groups do we have. Okay. So very nice. Let's see. Uh, let's make 12 then. Okay. Perfect. So you're going to work with a partner. Okay, guys. So please, if you can accept the invitation, that will be really great. So come on, guys. Let's do it. Come on, guys. Okay, Ambar, Aide, Salvador, if you can help me, please. Thank you. Ambar, if you can help me, please. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Omarım. Hello, Adam. Hi, teacher. Hi, let me assign you to a group, okay? Let's see. And if you cannot access, so you can stay here. I'm going to, you know, assign you one, okay? But let's try with this one, okay? Okay. Perfect. Hello, Brenda. Uh, we are working in groups. Okay? Yeah. Yes, problemas con el internet. Me tocaba con Sandra y se me fue el internet. Oh, really? Uh, let me see Sandra. Uh, Sandra Cruz, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me assign you with her. She's working with someone else. Let's see. Um, yeah, room four. Okay. Déjame asignarte so you can accept invitation. Okay, now.
Okay, hello guys, hello. So we are going to wait for the rest guys. So, you young, right? So welcome, welcome. So did we finish, you know, this exercise guys? Did we finish? Yes? Perfect. So let's see, first guys, you know, let's practice this, okay? So I'm going to choose some of you that can help me. So let's see. Uh, we have Jenny Santiana. Hello. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Um, well, Jenny, you're going to help me with uh, Maricela. Maricela, hello. Hello. Hi, you're going to have me. So Jenny, you're going to be Rick and Maricela, you're going to be Meg, okay? So let's start, girls, please. So what did you do last weekend, May? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like, that's a nice fun. Did you go to Loki's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just studied at home and I studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an eye. Okay, perfect. So thank you girls, thank you very much. Okay, so guys, let's see. So the next, you know, part of this exercise was to find the verbs in past. So guys, what are the verbs that we have here that are in past? Tell me, please, tell me. What verbs? How? Had. Okay, yeah. When? 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 Did? Sam. Okay, Sam. Forget. Forgot. Forgot. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Forgot. Yeah. Forgot. Forgot. Perfect. Very nice, guys. So we have this one. So let's see. We have the first one. Hat. What is hat, chicos? What is hat? Sombrero. Hat. No. It's the past to hat. Yeah, it's the past of half. Y have significa tener, right? So, eso es como tuve, right? Like tuve. I had, yo tuve, right? Very nice. We have this one, guys. Sang. Sang is the sang. past of sing, right? Sing. Sing. Yeah. Sing. So, it means sing. cantar, right? Sang, canto, cantar. right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what we have. Uh, went, you know, went is the past of go, right? Which go, means, go, 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 went. yeah, we have, uh, let's see, what else do we have here? We have a stayed. A a stay. Stay. Let's first stayed stay. is the past of a stay, right? It means a star, right? Como quedarse, right? Now we have a study that you know is a studio, right? Study. Studio, study. perfect. Study. We have study. forgot. What is forget? Forget. 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 It's the past of forget, which means all be that, right? So all be that, right? Forgot. And well, that's all, right? So perfect, guys. So now you know, let's move on. Cause I have here, you know. First, I'm going to explain okay, you, okay. Uh, you know, some of the things that we have here uh, that will come in the platform, okay, for you in the exercise. So this is, you know, uh, questions, right? So we have the auxiliar did. Did, we are going to use it in past, okay? We are going to use did for uh, questions, for interrogative, and for negative sentences, okay? Just two questions or negative, okay? So the first one is question. So we have this one. Do you go to the beach? Do you go to the beach, okay? 
Fuiste a la playa, right? Fuiste a la playa. <coughs> Did he break the window? So let me mute all of you guys. So perfect. So we have this one. Did he break the window? Okay. El quebró la ventana. Did he? Okay. So guys, for did, we are going to use did for all the pronouns. Okay. All the subject pronouns. Did you, did she, did he, did I. Okay. For all of them. No matter what. Now, guys, let's see. But let's pay attention to something, guys. So the rule is very easy. We have did, then we have here the main verb, right? The main verb, okay? That is in present. But we cannot add the verb in past, okay? Because did is already, you know, expressing that the question is in past. So that's why the verb must to be in present, okay? In a question. So did you went is not correct. It must to be did you go, okay? Did you go, not did you went. And the same one, it must to be did he break, okay? Not did he broke, okay? That's not correct. So let me here explain you guys what you know is the structure for this one. So let me make this one here. So guys, we had first did, right? Did plus subject plus uh, the verb in the um, main form or the base form, okay? Main form plus a uh, complement, right? Complement and finally the question mark, okay? That's very important, the question mark. There is at the end, right? Always at the end because it's a question, right? So let me make it here bigger for you so you can have, okay? So we have that right over here. So let me, you know, make an example of this. So we have first did, did plus a subject. Let's see, did, um, did she, okay? Then verb in main form, which means not in past, right? So did she, let's see, play and then complement. Did she play soccer? You know, and we can play last week, you know, or we can say yesterday, okay? Like this one and the question mark, okay? One more guys, let's see, did subject, let place you, did you um, eat, okay? Uh, pizza, uh, let's see, last week, you know? This is complement, right? So we have did, subject, and the verb, right? And then the rest, you know, is optional for you, complement, right? And the question mark, okay? Like this. So do we have any questions so far to create a question, guys? Tenemos una pregunta hasta aquí? ¿Cómo hacer una pregunta en pasado? Primero, chicos, es el did, okay? Después del did, Vamos a poner un sujeto. El sujeto puede ser she, you, he, Pablo, Erika, okay, cualquier sujeto. Y el verbo en la main form. El verbo main form significa que el verbo tiene que estar así, right? No con ing, no en pasado, okay, en presente. Sí, right? Así como lo ven aquí, como ven estos verbos, okay? Y luego ustedes pueden agregar el complemento, okay? <coughs> Teacher question. Yeah. Eh... ¿Por qué este eh, no se pone lo que es el, eh, el sujeto, verdad? En ING. En ING. Ah. Eh, cuando, cuando, cuando está el DID. Cuando está el DID. Simple. Ah, es bastante pregunta. sencillo. Porque es pasado, ¿ok? ING lo utilizamos cuando una acción es continua, ¿ok? Cuando es una acción continua. Pero aquí el DID me está expresando una acción que sucedió ya que ya pasó, hay right? algo que ya pasó. Es una pregunta del pasado, ¿ok? So, con, siempre que vamos a hacer una pregunta en el pasado, vamos a utilizar esta auxiliar, did, ¿ok? Did. Did she play soccer? Did you eat pizza? ¿Ok? Ah, comprendo, comprendo. Sí, sí. Yeah. Es que estamos hablando del, del pasado, no, no del progresivo, ¿verdad? Yeah, exactly. Es el pasado, yeah. Ok. Ok, yeah. thank okay. you. You're welcome. Very nice. So, well, guys, do you have any question about this so far? ¿Alguna otra pregunta acerca de esto, chicos? 
esto le tenemos que prestar bastante atención, chicos, ¿ok? Porque este es un, no es un tema complicado, pero si ustedes no prestan atención, se van a confundir, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque el pasado tiene bastantes verbos, ¿ok? Y bastantes formas. Ahorita estamos viendo la forma del did, ¿ok? El did, cómo utilizar el did, cómo hacer una pregunta en pasado, ¿ok? Esto es una de las formas de hacer preguntas, ¿ok? La más común. So, that's why it's very important for you to know, ¿ok? So, one more time. Recordemos, cuando utilizamos did en una pregunta, el verbo, ya no lo vamos a poner en pasado, ¿ok? Tiene que estar en presente, ¿ok? Like this example. No, así, ¿ok? No, that's not correct. Now, let's, well, this one, you know, remember, right? Lo que les decía. Usar el auxiliar did y el member, you know, goes back, right? To the press form. Now, guys, uh, for a short answer, cuando alguien les pregunta, por ejemplo, um, did you go to the beach? ¿Fuiste a la playa? Ustedes pueden responder, yes, I did, o no, I didn't, right? Así de sencillo, yes, I did, o no, I didn't. Sí, fui, no, no fui, ok, didn't, ok? Yes, I did, no, I didn't, ok? Forma negativa. Y aquí, chicos, tenemos cómo funciona, ok, una oración en pasado, ok? Esto es, this is a sentence in past, ok? Affirmative, ok? Affirmative, not negative, ok? So, in affirmative, you can see here this example, they went to the park last weekend, ok? They went. You see, this verb is in past, right? Remember, we have two types of verbs in past. We have regular and irregular, ok? Ya vamos a ir viendo esto. Los regulares, los verbos regular, guys, ellos solo le agregamos ed y de. Los irregulares, los que vemos aquí exactamente son irregulares, chicos, porque su estructura ha cambiado completamente. ¿Por qué? Went es go, ¿verdad? Y si se dan cuenta aquí, nada que ver con go, ¿verdad? Es totalmente diferente la palabra. Es por eso que es irregular, ¿ok? So we have this one. They went to the park last weekend, ¿ok? I woke up late this morning she came late to class ellos fueron al parque la bueno el fin de semana pasado me desperté tarde esta mañana ella vino tarde a la clase okay so what is the structure guys this is very but very easy okay guys let me you know make it here okay So, guys, the structure, you know, for a sentence is very easy. First, we have the subject, okay? El sujeto. Plus, verb in past. Then, the complement. That's all, okay? For example, she, okay? El verbo in past. El pasado de play es play, okay? She play, let's see, basket, okay? That's a sentence, okay? That's how you create a sentence in past. That's, you know, totally fine. Let's make another one. Um, we, okay, not a verb. We went to the beach, okay? We went to the beach, okay? That's all, you see? I have here the subject, the verb in past, and the complement, okay? Easy peasy, right? This one. So, well, guys, now, you know, let me share you something extra, okay? Le voy a mostrar también algo extra para que no se queden con esto, ¿verdad? Eh, let me share you the screen for you. Let's see. I have it here, okay? So, please pay attention to this, right? So, guys, aquí le voy a explicar primero. We are going to start with regular verbs, okay? Regular verbs. So, regular verbs, first we have this one that are in present, right? Tenemos estos verbos que están en presente, you see? They're impressive. Talk, spill, want, pinch, listen, jump, walk, play, open, close, play, dance, cry. Okay, these verbs. You see? Now, guys, let's see. We have this rule, okay? The spelling rule for regular verbs. This and, que, well, para las afirmativas sentences, guys, los regular verbs. A la mayoría de los verbos, chicos, le vamos a agregar ed, ¿ok? Ed, ed, right? For example, guys, tenemos el verbo wash, ¿ok? Wash, solo le agregamos ed, 
washed. Okay, washed. You see? Now, guys, a la mayoría de los verbos, usted le va a agregar ed, okay? Para los regulares. Pero dice que if the verb ends in e, add d. Si los verbos terminan en e, chicos, ustedes son le van a agregar una d, okay? For example, tenemos el verbo live. No live, okay? It's live. Live, como terminan e, solo le agrego una d. Live. Okay, lift. Ahora tenemos dice, if the verb ends in a consonant, proceed by a vowel, double the final consonant. Okay. So guys, this one is very easy. Okay. Dice que si el verbo termina en una consonante, pero antes está una vocal, dice que debemos de, do, de uh, doblar o copiar de nuevo la última letra. Okay. So tenemos stop. Vamos a doblar la última letra que es la P, right? Stopped. You see? Stopped. This is for spelling, right? Esto es para la forma de escribirlo, right? Stopped. Todos los que terminen consonant, bubble, consonant, consonante, vocal, consonante, y sea corta, vamos a doblar la última letra, ¿ok? Like this one. Y el último, chicos. Si los verbos terminan en Y, Ok, en Y, seguida de una consonante, vamos a eliminar la Y, la Y, y vamos a agregar IED. Por ejemplo, tenemos copy, copied. Ok, you see? Quitamos la Y que está aquí y le agregamos IED. Pero solo para las palabras que terminen en una consonante y Y, ok, consonante y Y. Si hay una vocal y Y, por ejemplo, en el verbo play, solo vamos a agregar E de, right? Play it. So, guys, tenemos estos verbos, right? So, let's see, let's, I guess I have time, yeah. So, let's see with this one, guys. Necesito que en el chat box escriban cómo escribirían este verbo en past. Dance, dance. What is the past of dance, guys? Let's see. ¿Cómo lo escribirían? De acuerdo a las rules que hemos visto, let's see. Okay, have here Salvador dance, dance, perfect guys, perfect, very nice. So, vamos a ver esta regla, dice que si el, el verbo termina en E, solo vamos a agregar D. Y el verbo dance termina en E, ¿verdad? Así que solo se le agrega D, right? Aquí está, D. Perfect. Now, guys, we have, let's see, este verbo. Tenemos el verbo study. Ok, study. ¿Cómo lo convertiríamos, chicos, en pasado? ¿Cuál es el pasado de study? Let's see. Ok. Study, study, perfect. Yeah, guys. So, dice, es la última regla. ¿verdad? Si termina en Y y hay una consonante, se elimina la consonante y se agrega IED. Y si miramos en study, termina en consonante y Y. So, se la quitamos y termina study. Perfect. Now let's see this one. Play. Play. Esta no estaba aquí, pero se las mencioné, chicos. Play. What's, what's the pass of play? Perfect. Played. Played. Chicos, si termina en vocal y ye, en vocal y ye, lo único que usted va a hacer es agregar ed, ¿ok? Pero si termina en consonante y ye, quita la ye y agrega ied, ¿ok? Just like this. Now, let's move on, okay, guys? And here, you can see we have, well, first of all, this is present, okay? These are, these sentences are in present. Estas están en present, okay? You see, I work in mushroom companies. I don't work, right? This is present. Now, let's move on the past. So, in past, we have this one, okay? Positive, you see, I worked, okay? Work. The verb is work, right? Termina en kai. Y a la mayoría de los verbos le vamos a agregar ed, right? So worked. Okay, worked. Lived. Studied. Okay. Ahora, chicos, forma negativa. Eso no lo hemos visto todavía. So tenemos la forma negativa. La negativa, chicos, lo vamos a hacer de esta forma. I didn't. Okay. I didn't. Didn't significa no, ¿verdad? 
Y tenemos después el verbo que sigue en la base form, ¿ok? I didn't work, ¿ok? I didn't work. So, let's see. Uh, let me make you, you know, simple for you so you can see the structure, ¿ok? Let me open one more time. So, guys, let's see for negative, ¿ok? For negative, guys, very simple, ¿ok? So, first, we have the subject. After the subject, we have did not. And then we have the verb in the base form, okay? Base form. And the complement. So, for example, guys, let's see subject. She, let's make, did not, did not, oh, didn't, okay? I recommend you to say didn't, right? Didn't is easier. Didn't, and then the verb, right? The verb must be in the base form. She didn't uh, work yesterday, okay? Now let's see another one. Uh, let's make another one. So, uh, you didn't study, okay? Base form, right? Base form. It is not in past because didn't, I mean, if we use didn't, it's because we are talking I'm about past, right? The study, right. you didn't study uh, last ah, yo week. Pensé, el lab, yo estaba escribiendo el So, okay, guys. So, well, this is how we created, right? So, do we have any question about this? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Yeah, no? Clear. Perfect, very nice. So I like, I like that, guys, that you are getting. And you have to pay attention, right? If you have any question, please let me know. So you see, here we have, right? Positive, I work in mushroom company. Negative, I didn't work in the cock company. You see? I didn't live in the big one. Now let's move on, okay? Here, you know, this is, well, this one. Here, guys. You can copy this, right, if you want, because these are expressions for past tense, right? So, for example, we have last night, last Sunday, last week, last weekend, right? Ago, 10 minutes ago, one hour ago, right? These are expressions that you can use in the past. For example, um, did you work yesterday evening? Okay. Uh, did you went to the beach last Sunday? Okay. Um, I worked. Um, yeah, I worked an hour ago. I studied a week ago. You see, like this one. So now, guys, we have. Well, remember regulars. You add ed. Now we have irregular verbs. Okay. We have these ones that are irregular, right? First, these are in present. You know, win, brave, find, give, cutting, take, you know. These are verbs in present, right? These are in present. Now, guys, let's see. We have, you know, that for irregular verbs, we don't follow any rules, okay? So regular verbs, guys, they are, I mean, they don't follow any rule. You only have to memorize. Para los verbos irregulares en pasado, chicos, no hay ni una regla, okay, que seguir. Es solo para memorizárselos, okay? Es memorizárselos. Es la única forma en los que usted eh, puede aprenderse. Now let's see, guys. Um, I want you to help me with this, okay? Vamos a ver si podemos. Bueno, quienes conocen qué significa drive. Well, ¿Cuál es el pasado de drive in English? So Draw, perfect. So we have draw. Yeah, like Anna typed, como escribió Anna, draw, perfect. We have take, como se dice take in past, guys? Take. Oh, took. Took, perfect, took. took. Very nice. We have run. Run, guys? Run. Run. Run, perfect, run. Do? Das. Das. Did. 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 Yeah. Did. Exactly. Do is the, I mean, did. 
Yeah, it's did. Mm -hmm. So, por eso es que son irregulares, right, guys? Porque no se le agrega ed, sino que cambia su estructura en sí, ¿ok? So, we have to be careful about that, ¿ok? About irregular verbs. And now, you know, let me show you this part here. This one, you see? For example, guys, tenemos estas preguntas. What did you do last Sunday? You can answer, I play soccer with my friends. Porque me preguntaron en pasado, did? Yo tengo que responder en pasado, right? I played soccer. Where did you play soccer? Where? I played soccer in the park. Okay. How long? Remember, how long did you stay there? We stayed there for about two hours. Do you see, guys? Did you enjoy the match? Yes, I did. Or you can say, no, I didn't, right? Yes, I did. I got so exhausted, but I liked it, okay? Did you do something else that day? No, I didn't. Well, I just called my girlfriend and went out with her. You see, guys? We have, you know, so many, I mean, we have for the questions, we can answer, you know, in past, right? So let's see. Uh, do we have any questions so far, guys? Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Yes, no? Yes, no? Everything? No. no. Yeah, okay, perfect, very nice. So I like it, guys. So let's see. Um, yes, I have this quiz. So guys, we are going to make a quiz, okay? You're going to do it alone, but let me explain you first, okay? So here we have this question, okay? For example, my mother to the shopping center yesterday. What do you think is the correct answer, guys? When. 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 Perfect. Very nice. Now, now we have, you know, these ones, okay? Tenemos estas también, okay? But this one, you're going to do it by your own. Lo vamos a hacer individuales, okay? Les voy a mandar este link, chicos, okay? So you can do it, okay? Se lo voy a mandar primero aquí en el chat de Zoom. You can copy and do it, okay? So let's do it, guys. Hagamos ese ejercicio. You know what's finished? Please send a screenshot with the score and bien. La screenshot al grupo de WhatsApp, okay? Con su nombre. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Yeah. Eh, Podría agregarme al chat, fíjese que al grupo, porque no estoy, no me, no he recibido nada. Really? Eh, sure. Eh, los demás, ¿cómo fue que estuvieron, ingresaron al grupo, chicos? Recibieron un link, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes, ah. un link. Perfect. Okay, so, um, bueno, si al pueden... correo. Yeah. Uh, bueno, entonces, si en todo caso eh, envíame eh, tu número, eh, te estaré enviando el link también. O oh, bueno, yeah. Send me, please, your number. I'm going to send you the, your link, okay? Voy a enviarte el link para que puedas ingresar, okay? Okay, teacher. Gracias. Eh, en el WhatsApp no está, ¿verdad? Uh, no, 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 solo por correo, ya. Yeah. Ah, me refiero, el link del... Sí, ya se los envío, chicos, sí. del quiz. Ahorita se los estoy enviando, pero también está aquí en el chat de Zoom, guys. En el chat de Zoom pueden copiarlo. Y you can do it, right? So let's see. Solo enviamos en la última, donde sale el puntaje. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so I have here, yeah. I did, okay, six of six, perfect. So, come on, guys. The rest. Uh, the person okay, 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 okay. Okay, perfect. Very nice, guys. Okay, so you see, really easy, right, guys? Now, you know, let me move on because we have our platform, right, guys? 
So now we are in unit number two, right? Ya estamos en la unidad número dos, right, guys? So, guys, this is something important, okay? So, I'm going to tell you in Spanish. ¿sí? La unidad uno, chicos, ya debe de haber estado terminada, okay? Esa ya la terminamos completamente tanto en la clase y también ustedes pudieron haberla terminado en casa, right, guys? So, now, guys, we are in unit number two, right? So, now, guys, this is, you know, like the homework that we are going to do. We have this, you know, this one here. You see, we have so many um, questions and we have some answers. So, let's see this one. Tenemos este, chicos. We have this one. This is a question, right? And, of course, it's in past. So, guys, according to the rule that we have seen today, what do you think is the correct one? The first, second, or the third one? The third one. Which one? Yes. Third one. Third one. Okay. So, we have did stay, right? Did you stay mm -hmm. home Saturday? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we use did, right, guys? Did and the verb mm -hmm. in the main form. Perfect. Now, guys, we have this one. No, I, and I have called my friend. Mm -hmm. We drive for lunch. So, guys, mm -hmm. what do you think? The number two. Number two. Number this one. I didn't yes. call. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you sure, guys? I didn't call. Ah, okay. uh, no. Three. No, I didn't. Number one, three. Didn't number call. Yeah, exactly. It's number one, guys. Why? Porque tenemos <laughs> yes, didn't. Y el verbo, el verbo must be in the present. base form, right? Mm. Luego tenemos mm. aquí, para que no se confunda para los que dicen, pero ¿por qué? Aquí, chicos, let me make it bigger. Tenemos un punto, ¿ok? Cuando mm. tenemos un punto aquí, la oración ya es completamente diferente, right? Aquí mm -hmm. inicia otra oración y me dice drive. ¿Y cuál es el mm. pasado de drive? Drove, right? Drove. La primera, mm. didn't call, right? Now let's see this one. This is a question, guys. What do you think? You, your last birthday. Um, the, the third one. Third one. So, yeah, did spend, right? Spend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, because spend is el verbo presente, right? Perfect. Uh, yes. Let's see this one. I have a party, everyone enjoy it, but the neighbors not like the noise. <laughs> what do you think, guys? This is kind of long. What do you think? Mm. Number two. Two. Number okay. two. I had a party, everyone. Two. Perfect, yeah. El primero, chicos, es una sentence, una oración, right? So, mm. primero vamos a buscar el pasado de have, que es had. Perfect. Ahora tenemos esta, right? Tenemos esta. Me pide enjoy, right? Que busque enjoy. El pasado de enjoy, mm -hmm. enjoyed. Y el último es tan negativo, right? Not like the noise. So, didn't like the noise, right? No podía hacer esto porque a like lo habían puesto en pasado y el verbo tiene que estar en presente, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Y this one... Estos verbos no estaban en pasado. So, nice, guys. So, well, guys, the rest, you know, you can finish at home, right? Pueden terminar en casa. Ya vimos las reglas, right? And yes. you told me you don't have any question. Besides that, guys, también aparte de eso, también pueden avanzar en esto, ¿ok? Aquí es un listening, guys, ¿ok? Es un audio que ustedes solo le dan play y les va a decir quién, o sea, les hace una pregunta aquí y ustedes tienen que responder, ¿ok? Con el nombre. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, well, guys, you know, this is everything for tonight, but do not worry. Next class, we are going to continue about past. Okay. Remember, this is very important, right? So, if you have any question, always let me know. Okay. So, well, nice to see you tonight, guys. And, you know, have a good one. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care, bye -bye. guys. Good night. Bye.